Hey everybody, welcome to my short video tutorial on how to call Fortran functions from C, um, at least the basics of it. It's probably going to be broken into three parts. The first part is going to be a simple Hello World application, which is going to be this video. Uh, the next video is going to be a little bit about the differences in the, uh, the data, the names, the data types between C and Fortran, and how to pass data back and forth between functions. And the last video is going to be on how to deal with uh, matrices with more than one dimension. So anyways, like I said, I'll get on with it. Uh, this video is a simple Hello World application. So it's going to do two things. I'm going to explain two things. Uh, the first thing is actually how to call a Fortran function from C. And by that, I mean, you know, what do I need to write in my C source code to call a Fortran function and declare it and all that good stuff. Now, the second part is going to be how to compile the Fortran and C together. Right, so I have a simple Fortran function here already called hello. Uh, it's not going to take or return any values. All it's going to do is print hello world from Fortran to the console. Uh, so this is the function that I'm going to call in this video. So I've kind of already gone out, gone and written the, uh, you know, the little shell C program here, or I should say skeleton C program. That's probably a better word. All right. So go back to the notes here. And like I said, this was in two steps. So first I'm going to explain step one. So what do I need to put in this C file to call this Fortran function? Uh, what I need to do. So I'm going to take the Fortran name. Make it all lowercase. Can't type today. And add an underscore to the end. So for example, uh, our Fortran function is called hello in all caps. Uh, it's going to be called in C as all lowercase extra underscore. So uh, pretty straightforward. All right now we're calling the function in the C program, but uh, it hasn't actually been declared yet. So it needs to be declared in pretty much the same fashion that you would declare uh, C functions in, you know, a, a C header file. Um, you just need to let the compiler, you know, know what all is there and what you're going to call and uh, all that magic. All right. Uh, so uh, this function declaration is pretty much going to look like uh, just like any other C declaration. Again, with this kind of um, modified. Uh, function name. All right, so once I've done that, I can go ahead and compile. All right, so right now I have my uh, Fortran source file with the function that prints hello world and the C source file, which is calling that Fortran function. So the first thing I'm going to do is compile uh, the Fortran file by itself. Right, and then I'm going to compile uh, with using GCC the uh, the main by itself. All right, so at this point I have these uh, .o files compiled from the their respective sources. Um, so now I'm going to uh, combine them together into into one executable, and I'm going to use gfortran for that. Um, it doesn't have to be. I think you can use GCC and just you know add whatever flag you need. But I'm not going to do that in this video. Maybe maybe in a later one, I'll probably have to do that. Uh, so I'm going to combine these dot O's here. All right, I've created this executable, HW. Go ahead and run it. And there you go. Uh, that's our Hello World application. Um, like I said, in the next video, we'll actually pass some data back and forth with uh, an example function. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.